mold on, on like the actual windows when you're talking about like the glass pane, it's not technically dangerous. Um, you know, glass is not porous, so mold's going to be on the surface of it. You know, there's going to be condensation buildup um, on the surface of the windows, but it's not necessarily um, dangerous. Now, what is dangerous is when you have mold growing underneath windows, if you have some kind of drywall or cellulose based building material that's um, underneath the windows itself. But on the actual windows, whether it be the window frame, um, the windowsill is technically uh, you know, not really dangerous whatsoever. So mold's gonna grow on windows due to condensation buildup. You know, you have the outside, um, the outside which is humid, um, and if you're blowing air conditioning inside, you have the combination of hot and cold that's growing on the colder surface, and mold's gonna, you know, start to accumulate. So really, basically, it comes down to one thing, and it's on any other building material as well, it's, it's moisture. Anytime you have moisture, it's gonna cause mold to build up. You know, it really just comes down to what part of the window you're talking about. If you have mold growing on the, the glass, you can just kind of get any kind of biodegradable solution and put it on a rag and wipe it off. Um, it's not that big of a deal. Now, if you have like wooden window frames, um, you may wanna kind of seal that wood with an antimicrobial sealant. Um, and if you have mold growing underneath the window, um, it's something that may require mold remediation from a licensed professional. So it really depends on uh, what part of the window you're having a mold issue with. Now, there are certain issues that you want to prevent mold. Like uh, if you look on the screen now, there is a hole in this window frame and water's getting in. So mold can start to grow along the walls underneath it when water gets in. So yeah, you can use natural cleaners because again, if you're just cleaning the, the glass, it's coming right off the surface. So I mean, you can use, you know, people recommend uh, white vinegar, um, hydrogen peroxide. You can use any of that. That's fine. Um, the real thing is if there's mold growing on any kind of cellulose based building material, um, then, you know, something more than that, whether it be removal or some kind of a chemical agent may need to be used. So the, the big thing with preventing mold on windows is ventilation and moisture control. Um, if you keep humidity below 60%, um, chances are that mold is not gonna grow on anything, including windows. Uh, so it's really just a matter of keeping, you know, controlling moisture. Um, you know, if you're the type of person that keeps your air conditioning super cold during summer months, if you're, you know, keeping the AC on, let's just say 68 degrees, you can expect condensation buildup on windows um, just because of you know the vast temperature differential from outside and inside, um, you know it will cause moisture. So to kind of summarize everything, uh, mold on windows is not something that, as a mold professional, um, overly concerned with, especially if it's on the outside of the house. Uh, I get a lot of calls of people that are concerned with mold on the windows on the outside. You can only control outside so much. It, the biggest thing for me is mold underneath the windows. If you have a window leak, whether it's the actual window panes that are uh, installed improperly or window caulking is not sealed, um, that's when you're gonna have the big time mold problem that can affect walls and even sometimes floors. So really you wanna just kinda control moisture and that'll control the issues that can cause a severe mold issue from mold on windows. Uh, for more information, go to lookmold.com. We have a whole article on this, and uh, if you can, please subscribe to the channel.